I am a veteran. I can remember back in my younger days, having grown up in Whitehorse, Yukon Territory, that I was a member of the Wolf Cubs, Boy Scouts, and Army Cadets. I guess it was probably being a part of the Army Cadets for six years that made me decide to join the Canadian Armed Forces. I joined the Canadian Armed Forces in 1976 after graduating from high school, and then I was did some initial training uh, when I joined the Armed Forces in Nova Scotia. From there, I went on to my trades training, which was Wainwright, Alberta, and that's where I learned to become an Army soldier. I joined the 1st Battalion, B Company, Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, and I served with them honorably until my release in 1979. During that time, when I was in the Army, our battalion, the unit that I was stationed with in Calgary, Alberta, had volunteered itself to go on a UN mission, United, United Nations mission, to the island of Cyprus. On that particular island, there was two countries that wanted to fight against each other, and the UN was there to keep the peace. There was the Turks, who were on the northern side of the island, and the Greeks on the bottom of the southern part of the island. My mission there with my unit was there for six months. During that time, I was a frontline soldier at an observation post, and all we were there today, uh, all we were there during that day uh, was to watch and to see, to make sure there was no troop movements or any other things that would cause an incident that might arouse uh, an outbreak or maybe possibly even a war. During the six months that I was there, nothing happened of any great importance, but it did uh, uh, show me what another part of the country was like. Having grown up in the Yukon, I led somewhat of a sheltered life because I was never exposed to anything of this great magnitude. Um, I can also say that uh, after I served in the military, I was released and I went to, into civilian life. From there, I, um, I went to school, post-secondary edu education, and I learned a trade of a land surveyor, which uh, I would go home and work for a com company when I was going to, uh, after, during the summer months, and I would work uh, doing land surveying, mining claims, highway uh, uh, easements and allotments. Um, it was then uh, around the 1998, 97, 98, um, pardon me, I stand, uh, it was around in 1988 when I decided to join the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Uh, I joined the Mounted Police uh, from the Yukon when I was living there and I went to Regina for six months training as a police officer. When I graduated from Depot, I was stationed to Saskatchewan and I served in a couple communities uh, in, in central uh, Saskatchewan until I retired uh, in 2014. Um, having, re having retired from the Mount Police, I then uh, stayed in, um, in the Battlefords, that was my last posting, and uh, my wife and I were content on living here. Uh, I volunteer uh, for the Legion, I'm a Legion member, I volunteer for the Fred Light Museum, I volunteered for the Royal Canadian Humane Association, which deals with bravery awards for people from Saskatchewan. And I also volunteered for the Last Post Fund, which makes us looking for um, unmarked military graves. Other than that, I also help out at the detachment uh, where I may be called back to work occasionally to drive prisoners uh, if uh, needed. Um, being a veteran is a very proud thing uh, in, in Canada. It's something that we need to do to remember um, people that have fought for this country before. I never seen any combat, but in my time when I was in the military, my mission was to keep the peace. Um, I do know, or did know, uh, some uh, First World War, Second World War, and Korean War veterans. And as we well know, uh, there is not too many of them left around in Canada. They are, uh, they are very few and far between. Um, and 
I can say that uh, it gives me great honor to wear this uniform of the Royal Canadian Legion, and um, I'm very proud to uh, to represent and be a, uh, a part of uh, the Remembrance Day services coming up on November the 11th, which I partake which I partake in every year.